Winning is everything, that's what it's about. But they say second is the first of the losers. <laughs>
not being in the fastest car. You know, all this stuff, I'm overdriving the car, that's why I'm having accidents. That's what we've been doing the last four or five years. You know, it's a race for God's sake. You know, it's seldom that you're lucky to be the fastest and one of the places you should always look is inwardly rather than, you know, to your equipment. I've always been quite self-critical of myself. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing. You know, we do a lot of training just to, to try and keep yourself in the best physical shape. It's not about building big muscles, it's about, about endurance. We don't really have the G-forces like you get in Formula One. What we do have is massive temperatures inside the car. So then when you've got your fireproof underwear, race suit, balaclava, helmet, gloves, it's the concentration to make sure that you're, you're still focusing and performing at your optimum, even when, uh, you know, when the heat literally is on. My personal preparation for a race is uh, eating properly, drinking properly, hydrating, because it gets very, very hot in the cars. We can be up to uh, 55 degrees C. And it's just following a simple routine. You know, I always like to go and uh, kiss my mum and my wife and my little girl before I go out and um, shake hands in a certain order. I get dressed in a certain order. I'm, I'm pretty annoyingly superstitious. Yeah, they obviously sit there getting very focused. Uh, they like everything to happen in the same order, as calmly as possible. Anything you can do to make sure they don't get rattled before it starts is obviously good for them to keep their mental state right. Just going through the start procedure, possible scenarios of the opening lap, uh, what could happen if we get a bad start, a good start. It all depends where you are on the grid and you know, looking for clear track and how you're going to get your tyres in properly, what curbs you're going to avoid on the opening laps. How hard are you going to push? It's almost subconscious in a way. You're going to get yourself, you know, be, you know, into that kind of, you know, that focus, that concentration, that zone. And when you're on on song and everything's working well, it all tends to happen quite naturally. But you've got to try and focus. It's not like Formula One where you've just got one race a day. For us, we've got three races throughout a race weekend to contend with. I've had the ups, the downs. You've been in depths of depression and back up, and you get a little light at the end of the tunnel. But it's the I, I, I guess the bad days make you appreciate the good days, and, uh, and the good days are second to none. That incident at Alton Park where they had a rubbing together and coming together, that would have destroyed a relationship in any other team. But these two guys are such good friends. Flash, when he comes down, he lives at Matt's house, and uh, so they're, they're like brothers, really. And uh, I, I think they were just made to work together. You know, we've got to work with each other, but also we're our biggest opposition. But, um, you know, we've got a lot of opposition here, up and down the pit lane. Everybody else has arrived, we want to beat them all. I think everyone thinks uh, if you're a driver, you just sort of, you know, VIP, stay out of the way. But no, they're down to earth, they get involved, have a chat, come and they've come and say hello there. A bunch of lads. We'll average at most circuits about 90, 95 mile an hour average speed. Donington's pretty special because I had my first big win there with a big payday. Uh, for racing, it's brands. Of course, the, the championship is the ultimate goal. It has to be at the start of the season. But obviously, individually, as a driver, I'd like to I'd like to take the driver's trophy as well. I've never done it before. I finished third twice, and uh, you know I, I'm hoping that this year's my year. I guess what drives me to win as a touring car is the quest for, you know, almost for perfection, to try and do the ultimate lap time and make the maximum performance out of the, the car that, that, that you're given. Mardi, Gordon, Gordon's, we've got right temper on him. Matt's really chill. I have the odd weekend off every now and then, which is lovely to spend with the family. Uh, my wife, Karen, uh, I've got two boys who are 16 now, Will and Hen and uh, my little girl Matilda who's two. So I think they've all got aspirations to race. Uh, the boys especially now, they've got their fingers almost on the grass of getting a car each. Uh, and even Matilda, she runs around the, the bedroom giving it the racing driver noises. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna have my hands full. You're in the car, you've got so much going on. You know, you've know, got to think absolutely balanced on the edge of grip, trying to do the fastest lap time, you're trying to make sure nobody can overtake you, so you're attacking, defending. You know, it's a real art, you've got so many things going on.
when you're out there, you know, the feeling's absolutely awesome. There's nothing to it. And uh, to be out there, to, you know, to take the checkered flag, to win, it's just it's what my life revolves around, and it's what I love doing. So uh, you know, I am the you know luckiest boy alive. Don't do that again. <laughs>